Hello, this is Matt Markin, an academic advisor here at Cal State San Bernardino, and welcome back to the CSUSB Advising Podcast. This is episode 71, and on today's episode, we have Associate Professor of Design, Rob Ray, to chat with us about the Design Studies major and also the BFA in Design. So, Professor Ray, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great for you to be here. So, our first question you should uh, start with is, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Can you tell us a little bit about your path into higher ed? Sure. Yeah, I um, I had a, a wobbly and strange path into higher education, I guess, um, like I think many people. Um, I uh, have always sort of um, been drawn to creativity and making things. And um, that led me into sort of two separate fields. One of them is a um, design and art making field. And the other one is a technology field. And um, what's kind of nice about design is there's a kind of wonderful synthesis that happens, I think, um, between uh, technology and art making and creativity. And so um, uh, design has become my home and it um, feels pretty good, though. Um, you know, like, like, like many people's paths, I think uh, I didn't decide, you know, when I was seven years old or something that I wanted to become a designer. It was something I kind of found my way uh, uh into i guess uh just after experiencing things and making things and that kind of thing and so um yeah it feels good uh design is a very broad field i'm sure we'll talk about some of that broadness today um but most of my um work these days is in um augmented reality virtual reality and interactivity um and so um, we'll dig into some of those topics i'm sure as well yeah, awesome. Well, Professor Ray, you know, when students here you know, know that we have various majors that, that we offer here at Cal State San Bernardino. Yeah. So within the art department, um, there's, you know, there's the BA in design studies, there's a BFA yes. in design. Yep. How would you help a student kind of understand uh, what those are? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a great question. Um, I, I've had this conversation with many students, so it's great that it's being captured here. Uh, and, and, it, and it takes a little while, I think, for students to kind of get their head around um, how the programs are different. So, so I'll explain. Um, the BA in Design Studies is a, uh, I think of it as a more kind of a la carte offering, meaning you can um, choose uh, different design courses and uh, kind of um, roll your own experience in a way. Uh, it's also a good program for someone who um, maybe has a, a strong interest in a field adjunct or, or maybe even slightly disconnected from design. Um, so if you um, are drawn towards marketing or something like that, um, uh, the BA in Design Studies could be a good, a good program for you. The BA in Design Studies is also a kind of um, traditional, quote unquote, four-year program where the BFA in Design is a is it has an extra year and that extra year um, is designed for a student to uh, really deeply pursue a project that they're passionate about and um, they do their capstone project around that uh, idea that they they formulate so they that fifth year is a sort of research semester and then a um, final project semester and um, both programs are um, great and they're great for different reasons um, i think a lot of students who are drawn to the BFA in design um, are compelled by being able to have a year to really dig into a project that they um, care deeply about. Um, they may want a sort of um, uh, sort of um, keystone or kind of a primary project that their portfolio is anchored around. Uh, and so the um, that fifth year for the um, BFA in design uh, can really do that for a student. Some other students um, aren't so curious about that or, or are you know, trying to maybe put together their portfolio in other ways. And so they pursue a BA in design studies. But the primary difference between the two is uh, the, the BFA is an extra year. Um, it is also um, uh, comprised of different concentrations, whether that's marketing, uh, motion graphics, uh, 3D, or um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, graphic design. So yeah, that's that's the four. Awesome. And generally speaking, you know, students also ask like, well, what am I going to do or, or learn in, in these classes? Uh, can you chat a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah. Um, like I said, design is a, a, 
a broad, very broad field. Um, many people, I think, in the world are designers and don't even know it or don't even call themselves designers, but they have found their way into design practices. Um, uh, we have a similarly broad program. I mean, I think um, if you talk to any, uh, you know, five or six design students in the hallway, um, they may all have different interests or enthusiasms. Um, the BFA concentrations might be a good way to kind of think about um, the different concentrations we focus on, but also um, we have all sorts of other design students who are doing interesting work as well, but I'll, I'll talk about those. So um, a significant number of people who um, come into design, come into it through, come into it through branding and marketing. And, and we certainly um, um, think about that and have a uh, course offering around that, um, uh, around, around those um, passions. Um, other students, though, may come uh, from a sort of illustration or drawing practice, or uh, other students may have an interest in typography. Uh, other students may have a, uh, one, oh, sorry, one of our BFA concentrations is uh, interface uh, design, which is actually uh, a, a program I, I teach in quite a bit. Um, students who are really into maybe app design or car user interfaces or something might go into interfacing. Um, uh, I teach the virtual reality class, so that class kind of overlaps interest in people's um, um, practices around um, technology, virtual reality. Game engines <laughs> is a part of virtual reality. User interfacing is a part of virtual reality, and user experiences as well. So, um, and that and, and and a class like VR is a, a kind of classic class for us, where students with a lot of different interests can kind of come into the class and have a good time and be stimulated and and do something interesting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, and, and then we have people who are really interested in like web and app design, for example, or we have people who are really interested in um, print uh, graphic design, which is the sort of, um, I think of it as the kind of um, ancestor maybe of the, con of, of the contemporary design uh, practices, sort of everything comes back to uh, the fundamentals uh, in a way that we're sort of first, um, thought about as, as print work. Uh, and that work is still deeply important um, to us and um, is still really blossoming. We have a lot of students who um, really appreciate and enjoy print work. So that's, uh, but uh, but yeah, again, you could talk to another student. They might be like, I'm really into you know CAD or 3D design. Mm -hmm. um, and they're finding uh, interesting work and in, in are simulated through our program as well. So, and we have a 3D design CAD class. So um, it, it's a very broad uh, field. And uh, we do our best to um, go both wide and deep, I guess. Uh, uh, we try to have something that is interesting to everyone. Um, we also have um, courses that are kind of more ex experimental um, and allow a professor to sort of pick a topic as well. And so, um, and, and as you'll see in the um, course catalog, uh, you can kind of go through and pick the ones that you think are most interesting. Uh, or pick a concentration that you think is most interesting, and and that um, I will I will admit uh, it can feel really overwhelming, right? When you're uh, a student and you're like, "Geez, why well, don't even know what to do?" This all sounds great. Um, a thing that is, um, well, I try to think of this way as like um, there's a lot to be excited about, and so um, one of the things that can really help um, is also just talking to a professor and being like, "Hey, I like this and this. What do you think?" and um, Every professor I know in the program is super happy to chat with the student and just kind of riff with them and hear about what they're interested in and, and hopefully point them in some directions they find fruitful. Awesome. And I'm sure you get this question a lot too, and we get it as well as the, the career question. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. You know, so if, if I get this major, you know, and I, I get this degree, you know, what could be some careers that this might be attached to? Um, how do you answer that question? Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it's never been a better time to be a designer, in my opinion. Um, um, we live in a time where design is just becoming more and more valued by society. Um, we've really seen um, user experience and user interfacing design kind of explode uh, and kind of take over uh, the field of design in a way. And, and a lot of that comes from um, software uh, products kind of realizing like, Hey, we really have to have an a thoughtfulness and an elegance and a sort of care for the user uh, or a care for humans, right? Kind of embedded into our product. Otherwise, 
it's not very good and people won't like it and they won't pay for it <laughs> right and um uh and so um uh design is is in a great place right now um there's a a lot of it a lot of care put into design a lot of um people are becoming more and more passionate about um the practice um people are willing to pay for that work which is you know useful for all of us <laughs> we all need to eat um and um so i i'm i'm pretty excited about it um it's also a place where um there's still a ton of creativity and also just a lot of ex experimentalism you know um uh design uh has to change always with society as society changes and so um to enter the field of design is is also just getting comfortable with things um being different all the time or or changing or um uh moving i guess is maybe a way I, I try to think about it rather than change it's just moving around um a lot and and it, what's cool about that is uh as a design student you there's plenty of room for you to think about what you want to do and just go for it you know just dive in and uh uh you'll find collaborators and enthusiastic people um that want to come along with you for the ride and so that 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 feels great for me and, and i think most students find that enjoyable as well nice now, Professor Ray, do you find that there maybe there's misconceptions that one might mm. have uh, when they hear the design major, design studies? Yes, yes, there are many. Um, um, I'll say the biggest one, uh, uh, and it's kind of the funniest one, I guess, which is people ask like, uh, they say like, well, I can't draw. <laughs> it's like, that's totally okay. Like, um, you know, uh, drawing is a a craft and a practice and an, an art making practice as well that um, can uh, be great to have. Uh, I, I think of of the, all the skills we have as designers is sort of like arrows in our quiver, right? And like sometimes you want to take out the illustration arrow and and mm -hmm. and fire that at the problem. Sometimes you want to take out the coding uh, arrow, right, and fire that at the problem. Sometimes you want to um, learn how to be a good interviewer, or a good conversationalist, right? Because the deeper you can connect to other people, the better your design work is going to be. And so the drawing one, though, is the one we, we get a lot. And um, certainly it is if you do like to draw, draw uh, design is a, a wonderful place for you. But don't let that stop you if you feel like I can't draw. Um, I myself can't draw. So, so uh, I enjoy drawing, uh, but my drawings are never something that I sort of think of as a finished product. It's usually, I use it as a concepting tool for myself. Um, I tend to gravitate more towards um, maybe um, 3D design tools, game engines, that kind of thing um, to do my iteration and um, kind of design work in. Uh, so yeah, if you can't draw, no problem. Uh, the other question I guess people have is, um, people do think of design as a, a kind of uh, technology friendly uh, program and practice. And I think some people maybe get a little freaked out. They're like, you know, I'm not super into tech or I'm not like a you know tech nerd or whatever. And I also think that's totally okay. We have you know plenty of students and, and faculty who I don't, I'm pretty sure don't think of themselves as like tech people, uh, but they certainly um, occasionally use a a digital tool, or they just use analog tools and um, share their ideas and thinking and do collaboration that way. So I think that's the two biggies. Um, both the field will be totally happy if you have enthusiasms in either one of those camps, uh, illustration or tech, uh, but it's certainly not required. Yes. Now, let's say students listen to this and they're like, you know, this sounds very interesting. You know, I'm yeah. tempted to, you know, maybe declare the BA in, in design studies or yeah. the, want to do the one of the concentrations in the BFA. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions uh, for that student? Um, I, you know, um, thinking about my own student experience and just thinking about my own life, uh, I think talking to someone is so potent. Like it's just so powerful. Um, and it's such a great kind of high fidelity way to understand what could this feel like? Like, what could my life be like in, you know, a year, two, three, four, five? Like, um, speaking with someone is a really great way to just acclimate, uh, get the nuances that you may not get through a, a written paragraph um, or text message or something. I really think just chatting with a professor or um, 
uh, art and design staff member, anyone, um, or with our chair, um, uh, is is really potent. Um, I think also um, even just doing your own um, thinking, kind of interviewing yourself, and and I, I try to employ this um, for myself, which is just being like, what do I want? <laughs> you know, um, I think it's easy to kind of get especially these days to get pulled in about a thousand different directions and, and also just see um, just the sort of deep creativity that the world is constantly flinging in our face, you know, through social media and stuff. Sometimes it's just overwhelming to kind of deal with and figure out like, what do I really want to do? And I think, uh, uh, you know, um, learning about the program, reading, uh, you know, the descriptions, the course descriptions, talking to professors um, can really just kind of help you figure out like, yeah, this is where I want to put my energy for the next few years, um, which is admittedly in a, you know, an intimidating uh, set of problems to solve. Yeah. And let's say a student does have a question and mm -hmm. do they, could they reach out to you or do they reach out to the, the art department? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, every, 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 every department, I mean, I think every community, right. Whether it's academic or otherwise has specialists, you know, um, Certainly, if someone was interested in, you know, game engines or VR or augmented reality or user interfacing, I, I, I would love to have that conversation because you're you're my you're my kind of nerd, you know, <laughs> you're my, you're my person. Um, uh, uh, but you know, uh, Professor Moon uh, does a lot of wonderful illustration. Uh, Professor Collins does really amazing 3D work. Um, um, Professor Oaks is a you know kind of branding and uh, uh, print design wizard. Like everybody has their specialties, but I think talking to anyone, including myself is great. And uh, if I'm if I'm only, you know, just beginning to scratch the itch that, that you have, uh, I can certainly point you towards someone who, who um, could help you out, you know? Um, and like I said, design is a very broad field. And so sometimes in our department, it takes a little while for a person to find, you know, their, their person, but, but it'll happen. Awesome. And yeah, and we'll include a link to the art department uh, website uh, to, the, to the faculty area, because it also will show like uh, the specializations as well uh, for, for the faculty. For sure. But yeah. Professor Ray, appreciate uh, you taking time out of your day yeah. for this to Happily. let our students know about design and design studies. Thank you again. Yeah, happy to. And, and just as a, a final note to students, um, uh, don't don't let, you know, the complexities of the organization and the website and all of this um, uh, impede your passion, right? Like um, we're we're really here trying to support that, and um, sometimes it's just a little messy, right? So sometimes you just have to like be like, okay, I'm just going to send this email to someone I've never met before and just see how it goes. But don't let it freak you out. Um, everyone I I have ever worked with at uh, uh, Cal State San Bernardino is so kind of friendly and just willing to chat or get you pointed in the right direction or that kind of thing. So don't, don't freak out. Like, uh, uh, you got this, uh, we all got this. And I think, um, you know, with a little bit of time and a little bit of energy, um, uh, I, I really think the Cal State San Bernardino experience can really, um, make a lot of people's lives very different. And that's a, a potent and powerful thing. hundred yeah, percent agree. All right. 